A few minutes to the opening bell. We're looking now at the biggest mover in the pre-market right now. Shares of biotech Dendrion down more than 64 percent. The company said last night it is pulling its guidance and firing workers, all because doctors aren't using its experimental prostate cancer drug. Bloomberg's uh, Shannon Pettypiece here with more on this. What's going on here? Well, this is just an example of how brutal the world of biotech and the environment out there for these companies is right now. You know, Dendrion, really one of the darlings of the biotech world a year ago, they got FDA approval for this new prostate cancer drug, a very innovative product that trained the body's own immune system to attack tumors. And it was the only option out there for the sickest prostate cancer patients. So a lot Lot of hype about this drug. Well, it's been on the market about a year. The company released earnings last night and they said, you know what? Doctors aren't using this. Uh, you know, the numbers aren't where we thought. We sold just $19 million worth of it in the wow. second quarter. Now, the reason doctors aren't using it, it's the price. They're afraid they're not going to be able to get reimbursed for this drug. It costs $90,000. It's this upfront cost that doctors have to pay for it. Then they have to wait to get reimbursement for insurers or Medicare or Medicaid. Medicare didn't say until last month that they were going to reimburse for this. So a lot of doctors were sitting on the sidelines saying, I can't afford to use this. I'm afraid to. And also, there was a lot of confusion about which patients should get this, which patients shouldn't, because it is a very complex complex, innovative drug. So that's the issue this company's facing. They've got a great product, works really well. They can't get people Too to expensive. use it because of cost and logistics and just confusion around it. So would they cut the price? Well, the company said we're standing by the price. They say that this is priced compar comparably to other similar products on the market. Now, it is one of the most expensive drugs out there, but it does help patients live longer. They're standing by the price. They're trying to go out there and, and talk to doctors and let them know you can get reimbursed now they think that once a few doctors actually get reimbursed for this they'll stop being so nervous about prescribing it and start giving it to more patients but mm -hmm. until now no 93,000 that's the price uh, just quickly Shannon what's next for the company then after this well it's gonna be a long haul for them the company told investors they pulled their guidance they're firing workers to try and keep costs down they're gonna go out there and start hammering doctors and trying to convince them to use it now it's just all about the marketing and it's gonna take time and analysts are cutting their estimates in half and saying it, it's going to take a while from here on out. That's what's got the share price down so much. It's going to be a longer haul for this drug than some people have thought. Yeah, plunging 65% as we were just showing. Shannon, thank you very much for that.